Warner Brothers Discovery is the entity that resulted from the spin-off and merger of Time Warner from AT&T and merger with Discovery. So basically you have under this one umbrella, all the Warner Brothers properties, the Discovery group uh, properties, which is like the Discovery Channel, TLC and all that, as well as things like Cartoon Network slash Adult Swim, HBO, which means they've got Game of Thrones, which everything except for maybe like the last couple seasons is you know, something they could be pretty proud of, The Sopranos, and um, I think Rick and Morty, things like that all under one roof. Now, the last year, the market has not really liked this stock that much. And part of it is probably because of them just not knowing how to look at it and also the negative net income. So I've taken a small speculative position. The reason being, I think this looks almost stupidly cheap, maybe so cheap as to be too obvious and a value trap, but with this really low price to free cash flow, also lately they have been posting a lot of negative net income results. And I think for a lot of people, when they just, you know, kind of are browsing through or screening stocks, they see negative net income and they kind of avoid it. And so I think there hasn't been a lot of excitement around this name, partly maybe because of that. Perhaps it's also because of the debt or perhaps the inconsistency in the free cash flow quarter to quarter. Um, some quarters they post like over a dollar in free cash flow per share. And this is in one quarter for a company that trades for $8 and change right now. Um, in others, though, it's slightly negative or, you know, 16 cents again in one of the more recent quarters. But I think the main thing concerning people is the debt that they were burdened with as a result of the spinoff merger. So they received billions of dollars in debt from the AT&T spinoff merger. Basically, AT&T couldn't figure out how to make Time Warner a good, accretive part of their business. As a result, they came up with a deal to spin it off and merge it with Discovery. And part of that deal was that they would send a bunch of debt with it. Um, you can see here in 2022 when the merger happened, they <laughs> they acquired a hefty sum of debt. But look in just the handful of quarters that have passed since then, how far they have chipped it away. I personally think that they're doing a pretty admirable job of responsibly chipping away at this debt and uh, somewhat delevering their balance sheet. And I wonder you know, if they continue on this path, could this not end up being quite the cash machine later on if they could then divert some of that money towards buybacks, assuming their share price doesn't you know, become more expensive too soon for them to do so? Interestingly enough, I had heard that Michael Burry of the big short fame had gotten into this stock to the tune of several million dollars. Now, this is not more than maybe a couple percent of the money that Michael Burry manages, but much like when somebody like Warren Buffett buys something, if Michael Burry is in it and taking an interest, I think it's worth at least making a mental note of that and maybe at some point trying to look into why he might be interested and try to figure it out for yourself. And if you think you see it, then act accordingly. Now, just because Michael Burry likes the stock or bought it doesn't necessarily mean it's right for me for that reason, just because he was in or that it's right for you. Um, he's managing a lot more money and well, if he's wrong, it doesn't really make that much of a difference in his daily life. Now, one concern I have for Warner Brothers Discovery is I'm frankly a little bit concerned about possible future share dilution because there is this issue with their debt where a lot of those maturities do come due in the next few years. And if they don't have good refinancing options and maybe they're not experiencing as good of free cash flow, Will they have the cash on hand to, you know, pay down those maturities? If not, it could get ugly if they decide to use the, um, you know, issuing shares lever to try to pay that down as 
you know, their total debt is almost $40 billion against a roughly $20 billion market cap. So that's kind of a concern I have. Um, but I don't necessarily think it's going to come to that for sure. But this is the reason why the position size, you know, for now is pretty small. And be sure to comment below if you have any Warner Brothers Discovery stock. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you like the video for the algorithm and hop into our Discord link in the description where we discuss stocks like Warner Brothers Discovery on a daily basis. Make sure that you catch me every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Cashflow Kings Live. Link in the description. We always discuss the most interesting stocks and have the best guests.